Good morning, ladies and gents. 20 minute Pilates workout. Um, you might need a strap, you might need a block or similar. I mean, best thing is always to have everything on standby because you never know what happens. Um, so you've got another 30 seconds to run and fetch, pair of ties or strap or belt, um, anything, you, not necessarily, but you might need it. And um, possibly a block or a pillow will do as well. So, we're going to start lying on our backs in the Pilates relaxation position and just arrive on the floor. Okay, so make sure your feet are nice and parallel, knees are nice and parallel and then place your hands on your hips. And we're just going to take three Pilates for a sideways breath, so breathing in sideways. Exhale, zip up and hollow as you imprint your spine and release back to neutral. And repeat, breathing in. Exhale, zip up and hollow, imprint the spine. Just really drawing those hip bones together and pulling the tummy in. And release, one more. And then stay imprinted and squeeze your glutes. And relax. Stay in print. Squeeze your glutes. And relax. And again, squeeze and imprint more. And relax. And squeeze and imprint more. And relax. Back to neutral. We're going to go up to pelvic lift. So breathing in. Exhale. Zip up. Hollow. Imprint. Squeeze the glutes. And rolling up into your pelvic lift. You can take your arms down to the side now. And slowly rolling back down. And we're going to repeat four more. Breathing in, exhale, zip up, hollow, don't forget the glutes. And rolling up, making sure the knees don't wander out, foot. Big toes stay on the floor. I think my right foot is properly turned out. And rolling back down. And repeat. Try and relax the chest so the ribcage doesn't flare. Neck is relaxed. This time we're going to stay up. And then place your hands in your hip bones again. And then just check whether your pubic bone is indeed higher than your hip bones. And then see whether you can tuck under a little bit more so that pubic bone does come a little bit higher. And release. Tuck and the pubic bone comes higher and release. And last one. And then we're just going to shift the hips. So right hip up, left hip up. Alternating from side to side, but making sure that pubic bone is higher up. And then make that shift bigger and bigger. A little bit like a hummock. So your pubic bone is one of the fixed points on the hummock. And shift. And shift, and shift. And then keep swinging, but slowly lower yourself down. So you're still rolling down one vertebra at a time. You're just coming closer to the floor until there's no swing left. And relax, stretch your arms and legs away from you. Stretch yourself nice and tall like the early morning stretch. Coming up to bed. Excellent. Bring your knees back in. Fold them all the way in. And we're just going to rock forwards and backwards. Rolling the lower spine off the ground. And rock side to side. Okay, placing the feet back down. And we're just going to go for some simple double knee folds. Breathing in, exhale, zip up, hollow, first leg comes up. Really, really imprint as the second leg comes up. Keep the imprint, first leg comes down. And second leg comes down, release back into neutral. And repeat. You know the drill. 
Just making sure that your knees right up your hip and that your shins are parallel to the floor. Two more. And the last one. Well, not quite the last one. Just the last one of what I had in mind. So we're going to do one more. And then we're going to progress to toe dips. So remember, you're fully imprinted. The angle between your legs stays the same. So just hinging from your hip. And come back up. So your toes might not actually dip the floor, and that's absolutely fine. Mine are not dipping. Let's see what happens if I let it touch. Oh, just about, but it really pulls me into an arch. So be sensible. It's about imprinting and really engaging the core. Six more, and one, two, three, four, five, six. And now pull your knees into your chest. Rock forwards and backwards, side to side, and that side with the legs and parting together. And changing direction. And then you're going to keep your legs open and put the hands on the knees or sort of elbows on knees, shins to the side, wherever you can be. So you're basically like lying down like a frog upside down. I'm just going to rock from side to side. Upside down frog. Okay, and then let yourself rock so much that the side touches the ground. And then decide on one side. And totally roll over and come to a seated position. Now, you've got three choices. You can be sitting cross-legged on your block pillow. So if that's an option for your cross-legged or frogs. Um, you could be kneeling. Again, kneeling possibly with the um, block underneath, or you could be kneeling upright. Okay, so pick yourself a position. I'm going to go for the kneeling version. Okay. And we're going to do our spinal rotation. So put the hands into prayer position. Float the shoulders up, and then send the shoulder blades right down. And spinally rotate from right to left. Following your normal breathing pattern. I quite like this kneeling because you can't swivel your hips, so you can't cheat. Let's try a different arm position. If you have the hands here, and imagine you want to push something down, yeah? So sort of rib cage down and push something down. Keep pushing it down as you spiral your body. With the hand. Okay, let's bring your arms into the dumb waiter position. So upper arms glued in over to the side. And we're going to do a few more rotations in dumb waiter position. Keeping the shoulders nice and level. Few more, we we'll extend the arms so really extend to the side and come back and rotate to the front. One more in each direction. We've got to go to side bend 
Again, you can stay in this position. It can be kneeling up. It can be frogs or cross-legged. Or you could be just sitting with your legs forward. Choose something that works for you. Okay, so just ordinary side bend. So float one arm up and over. Take the other end down to the arm and recover sitting taller than you were. Remember, if you're sitting in frogs or cross-legged like me, the opposite bum cheek stays on the floor. Breathing in. And exhale. And in. And exhale. Now, if your neck is okay, you can change the headline. So I'm starting with looking down. I'm going to turn my head forward and then up into the crook of my elbow. Uh, if I've got neck issues, you might just want to keep looking down. If you were sitting cross legged, it's always good to change the legs over because it sits different than the hips. And rather than just bending the down elbow, you can also stretch that arm away. And just one more in each direction. Okay, excellent toe. Right, we're going to come to sitting on your buttocks. This is where you might need the strap, but probably not. Um, okay, so you're going to hold the thighs behind your back. If you can, just resting on the tippy toes, otherwise have the feet fully down. And the idea is we're going to sit as tall as possible, stretch one leg, flex the foot, point and lower. So if you're really, really tight on the hamstrings, this is where I thought the strap might come in useful. It might help you just sit upright a little bit more because you can lean backwards then. So stretch and flex and point and lower. Actually, I quite like it with the strap because it really engages your shoulder blades. Stretch and flex and point and lower and keep going. And... Do two more on each leg. Quite loose, you can literally over cross your hands as you hold underneath the thighs, so bring the thighs really close into your chest. Oh, yeah, that really brings it to the next level. One more each side. And then just for a laugh, we're going to do both at the same time. Let's try that twice more. Okay, and then just slide the legs forward, bring the arms inside, sit as tall as you can, and just relax forward and hold for a few seconds. You can weave from side to side and just let your breath come back to normal. I don't know what this is. Because I'm talking, but I sort of that might be rather breathless. And now flex your feet. And rolling back up, sitting tall. Okay, we're going to do the oyster. Eight full oysters on each side. Okay, so making sure that your heels are roughly in line with your butt. Making sure the hips are in line. And um, we're going to open, fully open. This is why we usually dip backwards, so making sure those hip bones stay down further. And number two. And three. So I'm reminding you when you come back down, really keep that leg nice and open without dipping. And four. Five and six. I'm clicking every time. And seven 
And the last one, eight. Okay, coming to sitting. We're gonna stretch out that glute. So with the side edge been working, cross us over. And you want to try and sit as tall as possible and bring the knee towards the opposite shoulder. If that does not get your glute, then fold the underneath leg in as well. Tie yourself up in a pretzel-like shape. Kind of if you're doing this one, bum, cheek, the sitting bone wants to be on the ground. And again, just bring that knee to the opposite shoulder and be happy. And you might want to rock from side to side. Okay, oyster on the other side. So lining up, making sure the heels are in line with your bum. And here we go. And two. And three, keep your hip in line. And four. And five. Seven and eight. I can do the loads now. I used to do two and then everything used to cramp up, but we've done so much gluteal work. This seems to be okay now. I have improved and progressed. Woo. Okay, crossing that leg over. So take your options, either just there, that might do the trick for you, or folding in. And in both cases, bringing the knee over to the opposite shoulder and you can just stay there and stretch out. I like rocking side to side. Okie dokie, let's do hip flexors. So coming into a lunge position, just a nice and simple one. Legs comfortably wide, front leg can be turned out, and we're just going to do six big circles in each direction. One, two, not the sides, three, four, five, six, and change. One, two, Three, four, five, six. And then you're going to dip this side of the bum down to the floor. Just stretching that bum area out again. Just breathe into it. And we're coming to the centre. And then just stretch yourself as long as you can, like a snake with millions of vertebrae. And release. Before we do the other side, we're going to do our inner thighs. So we're going to come to standing, wide-legged. And we're just going to pulse. So we've got to try and be really nice and upright. So let's do 16 pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and then put the hands on the inside of the knees and push the thighs to the side. So you now are a turtle frog. Never fails to get any easier. Okay, lunging on the other side. Ready for your hip flexor circle. Six in each direction. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And change. One, two, three. Four, five, 
try six. Dipping sideways for another good stretch. Breathing into it. Coming back to the center, be a snake, rippling long. And now coming back to second position. First, there we go, stretching out. Coming upright, so you probably have to come up a little bit. And we're just going to do four foot pops on each side. One, two, three, four, upside, and one, two, three. Four and stretch them. Legs in, shake them out. Right, not much left to do now. We're going to do our hamstrings. So, on the sideways. So, one leg forward, foot flexed, and hinging forward. So, if you try to the hamstrings, put your hands on the supporting knee. If you're looser, you can just go all the way down. Okay, and we're just going to hold it there for eight seconds. Lengthen through the spine, and then we're going to rotate the stretchy leg in and out. So from your hip socket, rotating leg in and out, and in and out, and in and out, and in and out, and hold it in. Push the heel into the ground. Turn it back out and push the heel to the ground. And coming back up. Other side. Take your options. This is my back side. So I'm going to go with hands on knees. And we're just going to hinge forward, lengthen through. Really flex the foot as well. And then start rotating in and out. You might notice that one leg's got a lot more playing room than the other one. And I'm holding it turned in. Push the heel into the ground. And rotate it out. Push the heel into the ground. And we're coming to standing. Okay, shake out. Just gonna do Three roll downs. The first one will float up into balance. The second one will float up into one legged balance. Third one, other leg balance. Here we go. So breathing in. Soft knees and rolling down. Straightening the legs at the bottom. Bend them lower than before. Zip up and hollow to roll up. Check the knees, the feet. Make sure the pelvis comes into perfect alignment. Lengthen your snaky spine. Float the arms to the side, shoulders down, and float up onto tippy toes. Long neck. Eyes bright. Ah, soft knees rolling down again. Get straight and legs at the bottom. Bend knees, rolling up. We're only going to bring the arms to the side. And then balance on one leg. And then from there, the only thing we have to stretch is your quads. So pick up that leg, you might need to hold on to something. And stretch your quad. You can also use both hands. That's a difficult quad stretch, isn't it? Because yeah, it's really wobbly and there's lots of postural things that go wrong. But I know you can do it. And release. One more roll down and we'll do the balance and quad stretch on the other side. And straighten. Bend, zip up, follow, roll up. And stop at the side. And floating the other leg up into single leg balance. And then go for your quad stretch. 
one arm or two arms or you might have hopped to the wall to hold on. Okay, last thing, just put both feet together, floating the arms back up, tuck your bum under as much as you can and float up on a rise. Either stay there or see whether you can move your head from side to side. And then keep the arms up and slowly lower the heels. And give yourself a high five. Pat on the shoulder. Virtual high five to everybody. Well done. And we'll see you 